I'm Karen, and tonight we're going to make corned beef and cabbage in our Instant Pot. Um, it's also going to include potatoes and carrots. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and cook the first part. We cook the meat separate from our vegetables. So um, this part's really easy. You go ahead and put your corned beef in here and use two, uh, three to four pound um, corned beef, beef brisket. And then we're going to add four cups of water and a small onion that I have peeled and quartered, two bay leaves, about five peppercorns. Then I have four cloves of garlic that I'm going to mince. Once you've minced your garlic, we have some allspice. I have ground, um, so I'm only going to use about a quarter of a teaspoon of that. But if you happen to have the berries, you can use about a half a teaspoon of berries. And then um, I have ground thyme, and I'm going to use a whole teaspoon of ground thyme and just sprinkle it all around the top. Your next step is going to be to close your pot. You're going to have to wash everything. Um, make sure your vent is sealed and then we're going to set it to manual high pressure for 90 minutes. Um, when the time is up, we're going to let it naturally release for 10 minutes and then we're going to remove our um, beef brisket. But I'll show you that step because at that point we're going to put our vegetables in. So I'll be back when our 90 minutes is up and show you what's next. Our pressure is finished releasing and so we're gonna open our pot. And if you want to verify that your meat is finished, you can use a meat thermometer and check your internal temperature. Um, and for corned beef, um, it would be good to have an internal temperature between 190 and 205, mine is beeping because it is past that temperature. So it is safely finished and corned beef is going to be pink still when it's finished. So no fear there. That's why I use the thermometer. And it's also hard to remove. And I'm going to put it on this plate to rest while I put the vegetables inside the pot. And I'm gonna cover it with some foil just to keep it nice and warm. I'll cover it better in a second. Um, so what we've done is we have cabbage that I have cut into chunks and adding that. I have four potatoes that I have cut into chunks. And I'll leave those two out. I have five carrots that I have peeled and cut into chunks. So I am putting all of that in the juice inside my pot. Now I'm going to seal, seal my vent, and let's go ahead and cut that off and hit manual, and now you gotta press down for a while, and go all the way down to 10 minutes. And when it finishes, you're gonna quick release this time and you can slice some of your, whoop, I went past, in 10 minutes. So quick release, slice some of your corned beef and serve with vegetables and a little bit of the juice. Um, and it should be beautiful and delicious. If you enjoy these videos, please like my channel and I will post a picture and all of the directions for you at the bottom. Enjoy.